Hey YouTube world, my name is Shelly. I am making a video in response to Hilda Giddy's question, um, why you shouldn't become a Jehovah's Witness. And I just want to say she makes some really awesome videos and I love listening to you. You're, you're great, Hilda Giddy. Keep it up. Um, anyways, my main reasons for not being a Jehovah's Witness because I am no longer a Jehovah's Witness. I grew up in the organization at a young age. Um, basically ripped my family apart. Uh, I have six brothers and sisters all within that same organization and my parents and they basically treat me like I'm not alive anymore. So it's been a very um, hard year and I just have to keep going on with my life and figure things out. There's a lot to figure out but basically it fucks you up. Um, that's just the short end of it. Um, my other deal is the real um, lack of love, which is ironic because that's what they claim to be all about is like love for your neighbor and all that crap. But basically, um, while they're out knocking on doors, I remember this in the car, constantly judging all the people around you, the ones that came to the door, you know, nothing, even for a witness, nothing ever seems good enough what you do. So it's a lot, um, a lot of pressure and there's no guarantee you can make it through Armageddon, but after maybe that thousand years, if you mess up, you're dead. You know, um, it's just one thing. Sorry, I talk really fast and I, can, I tend to mumble and can't talk right. But anyways, um, I just feel like the judgment within the organization was very extreme and there's a lot of gossip, a lot of backbiting. Um, but my main point is um, the disfellowshipping um, subject because it really hits home for me and for anybody who's thinking about joining this group um, if you have children and you're planning on raising them in that really think about what that will mean because they don't tell you this until you're in it and you're you're converted and you're committed to the organization um, if your child decides to get baptized and leaves or makes a mistake or wants to do their own thing you have to cut them off just like you will have to cut off all of your worldly family outside who don't believe it. So that's just for anybody watching this who's thinking about it. I don't want to tell you anybody what to do, but I strongly encourage you to do your research. Um, also too, for the ladies out there, because being a lady in this organization, there's no options. <laughs> um, there's like one guy for every 10 girls, so uh, good luck with that. You'll see a lot of backbiting there too. Um, with career, you're told not to go to college, not to further your education, which is something that I'm actually going back to do because I never did. And I'm almost 25 and I feel like that was a waste of time. Um, you're basically going to be making minimum wage or lower. And just for women, there's not a lot of options unless you're married to a brother in good standing. So it just kind of sucks. So I'm just going to say that, put that out there on the table. And I think I'm going to wrap it up for now. I'll have more to say later, but uh, I hope you guys like it. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>